Hey YouTube, what's up? Um, I'm here again with my X18. I just got it back. I went and picked it up last night. Um, I haven't made a quick, I haven't made a video on this in a while, so I'm gonna just give a quick rundown for those who may have never seen my videos or whatever the case may be. But um, it's my X18, regular stock 110cc engine. But it's a little, I did a little customization to it. As you can see, my frame is blue. Um, some of my engine covers is blue. My new blue shifter that I got, I got new blue suicide uh, brake and clutch levers. I got racing CDI. I got my new cam covers with my oil cooler adapter for my oil cooler. I got a dual piston, dual piston back brake, um, Yamaha R1 racing light, tail light for the bike, custom fitted. My um, racing CDI, and I got a 26 Mizuki carburetor on there, 26 millimeter Mizuki carburetor, sorry. But, um, um, new grips, I don't know if I said that, but, uh, that's pretty much it, um, the bike starts up and runs, um, I didn't put it back together yet, because I didn't get my plastics, so everything is scattered around right now, but um, I got all my parts just sitting around here, I got the neon lights for it still, I got everything for it, I just didn't put it back together because I didn't order the plastics, and I didn't get my exhaust, my dual exhaust that I wanted to get. Um, so that's pretty much why the bike is sitting here. But eventually I'm gonna put it back. And I gotta get a new uh, clutch cable. That my other clutch cable broke. But that's pretty much it. Other than that, the bike starts up, runs. So I'm excited about that. The reason why my bike, for those who did follow my videos, the reason why my bike didn't start up is because my stator, my stator was bad, so I had to get a new stator. That's why I wasn't starting. So thank you to all those who did leave comments and try to help me. But that's what it was. It was my stator. So I had to change my stator. Um, other than that, yeah, that's the X18. Um, the X22 that I'm building that caught on fire. Um, here's a quick update on this. I got a new, I got a couple of parts for this too. I got a new gauge that I'm putting on there, gauge, uh, choke, key switch, everything. So, um, as you can see right now, I got a, two different sets of plastics on here. I got the X18 gas tank with an X19 back piece. I mean, as you can see, um, testing, fitting them, I had to sand this down, put some body filler on there. So, I mean, I'm building it. It's gonna be, this is going to be a custom fit. So, yeah. I didn't get to sand this part yet, but everything else is smooth. I had to fix this up because it had a little crack on it. But besides that, um, I got to put everything else back on there. So, I got the parts, most of the parts anyway, for that. So, that should be up and running again, too. I mean, all I really needed was a wire harness and some back brakes, so that's going to be up and running soon, so yeah, and from there, I'm just going to be working on the plastics for that bike, but yeah, that's a quick update on the X-22, um, as you can see, I got the exhaust pipes are not regular, the stock silver one, I painted them black, um, and, as you can see, like, the knobs are turned in. I figured that was kind of cool. I'm changing the rims from the X-22. I'm putting on these rims. Pretty much the same rims as the X-18. But, um, because the other rim, when I, the bike just got the bike, the front rim for it, um, the, this piece, I forgot what it's called, but yeah, it wouldn't stay in, so it made no sense. I'm gonna just change it. But um, 
clean up the shock. So the shock is all nice and clean, shiny new. Painting the frame, painting my exhaust pipes itself. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. For those who haven't been watching, I got this X22 and it caught on fire because my battery was bad. So what I would have to do when I wanted to start my bike, I would have to jump start it, like from a car or some shit like that. So I went to go fill up one night and some of the gas when I was taking when I was done filling up, you know how the pump still leaks out a little bit of gas. So the draining of gas, some of it fell on the engine, the plastics or whatever. So that spark, jump it, caught the bike, and that's what left me with a flamed bike. But that video, that whole from beginning to end video is coming up soon for that bike. So stay tuned for that. Um, also, before I leave, this, I forgot the name of the kid that posted a comment about a shifting tutorial. Tutorial, sorry. But first thing, there's a shifting tutorial on your bike, on your engine. If you have a stock engine, it gives you that. The gear position ident, whatever that is. But um, yeah, this is a shifting. But I'm gonna teach. I'm gonna tell you anyway. Um, first to do is you're gonna grab your clutch, which is gonna be on your left side. So your clutch will be like right here. You grab your clutch. And if you don't know what gear you're in, you can shift all the way down. Just click down about four clicks. Four clicks down, and then you shift one up. You go up one. That's neutral. From there, your bike will be able to run. Like, it'll be able to move back and forth. So once you're in neutral, you'll be able to move your bike back and forth, and you'll be able to start up your bike. Your bike should not start up in any other gear. But um, once you're in neutral, that's your bike will be able to move. If you're not in neutral, just try moving your wheel. Like try to roll the bike on its own. It wouldn't move. The chain, the back tire will lock up, and it wouldn't move. So that's how you know you're not in neutral. But from there, after you get the bike started, um, you grab your clutch, you shift down. That's first gear. Once you're in neutral, you shift down. That's first gear. So once you're in first gear, you're riding, you're, after a while, once you get at a higher rate of speed, you'll hear like a high pitch noise in the engine, or if you can't tell, the bike will start slowing down, like it, it won't feel like it's getting any faster. So from there, um, what you do is you grab your clutch, you shift up, um, it shouldn't necessarily go into neutral, but they say it's like a half the shift, which you can give it like a full click up where it's up to you. Um, or just to be safe, you can give it two shifts up and then just click down one. Um, I just give it like a little half a shift up. But um, that will be second gear. So then from there, you're riding in second gear. Every time you want to switch gears, you grab your clutch, you click up, that's third gear. From there, you click up again. Which, while you're grabbing your clutch, that's fourth gear. So then you'll be in the highest gear, which is fourth gear. So when you're in fourth gear and you're trying to slow down now, same process. You step on your brake, or whatever brake you're using. Um, you grab your clutch, and you shift down. That'll be third gear. And then you shift down again. That'll be second. And you'll double shift down. That'll be first gear. And then you start back, you restart the whole process. You don't necessarily have to shift down completely to first gear when you come to a full stop. You can leave the bike in second, third, or fourth gear if you want to. Um, and you could just shift up. Like, you could just leave it there. Like, say if you're, you leave it in fourth gear, you can just ride the bike as is. And it'll take a while or, I mean, you won't get the full top speed of every gear like you did the first time but the bike will still run you can just ride the bike in fourth gear and just watch it pick up speed slowly as you go along so yeah that's the quick shifting tutorial um any other questions let me know uh see if i can help you um comment
subscribe. Let me know what it is. Alright? Bye.